Congressman Zeldin, thank you very much for joining us. Could you explain your the role that you've been playing now post the Iran deal uh, in holding the Iranian regime accountable um, now that the deal's passed? Well, it's unfortunate that this uh, deal has passed. What's come to light as far as oversight goes is that not only is this not a treaty or an executive agreement, uh, Secretary Kerry calls it a political commitment and has admitted that it hasn't even been signed. So what is incredibly important uh, is that we all understand that this really isn't even a deal. The Iranians haven't even put a pen to paper on it yet. Uh, as far as verification goes, we still have not read the verification agreement as outlined between the IAEA and Iran. So for all of us to be able to verify compliance, uh, we need to know what the verification regime is, and there needs to be an ability to find out more to uh, ensure that Iran is doing their part. Uh, so that's all part of it, but we also have a whole lot of other bad activities uh, by Iran that, that wasn't dealt with as part of the, the deal. So Iran working to overthrow foreign governments, financing terror, uh, pledging to wipe Israel off the map, chanting death to America as they do it, uh, and the list goes on. So as far as all the other bad activities, we need to understand that this is a, a country that doesn't respect weakness. They only respect strength. The leverage that brings them to the table are the sanctions. Uh, so we need to strengthen the sanctions if we want to deal with other any of this other bad activity. Uh, one other thing that I would add uh, is that uh, Iran has other um, allies in the region. So any effort to replace Assad, uh, to weaken Hezbollah, weaken Hamas, weaken uh, Putin uh, and Russia and, and the alliance that's being formed between the Iranians and Russia or the Iranians and China, uh, there's a lot of other options that are available as we look at uh, those other allies in the region and elsewhere. And what role could Congress play in, in that, particularly the non-nuclear, the, the other issues which you mentioned? Well, first and foremost, it's uh, with regards to sanctions. Uh, that was, they were working. Uh, it was weakening the regime that uh, was in power. They desperately needed the sanctions relief. Uh, they got $100, $150 billion worth of sanctions relief. Uh, Congress needs to ensure, especially when a new president comes in, hopefully one uh, who better understands this issue, uh, we need to be increasing sanctions and putting the, the sanctions regime back in place as opposed to dismantling it because the Iranians will not come to the table because they believe that they are good world citizens. That's, uh, that's just not reality. Thank you very much, Congressman Zeldin.